second. <laughs> That's a radio telescope. It's an 82 foot dish, 25 meters, 82 feet, and it's pointed right at us now. <laughs> I just noticed it turned at us. <laughs> but, uh, that's part of the VLBA. Now, most people know the VLA, very large array. You saw the movie Contact. You, you know what I'm talking about. It's those 27 dishes all spread out in the field, and they act like a giant several mile wide radio telescope. Well, that, uh, based out of Socorro, New York, baseline array. They got 10 of these spread out from Hawaii to St. Croix in the Caribbean and several places in between. Fort Davis is one of those spots. And they act like a gigantic 5,000 mile wide radio telescope. Now remember earlier I told you the sun hits us with infrared, ultraviolet, gamma rays, x-rays, radio waves, so do other objects in space. Uh, you have to have different detectors to see that different kind of light, like we learned with the hydrogen alpha filter and that kind of thing. Well, that's a radio wave detector, and uh, uh, it's it, and, when the, and radio waves are really, really large. So the more these you got spread out, the more high definition you get. Uh, now, a lot of folks they think a radio astronomy is listening, you know, like Jodie Foster with her headphones on in the movie Contact. Usually, that's not radio astronomy. You can do that, but they convert it to graphs and images, and uh, just just another way of looking at the sky, basically. That's not part of McDonald. That's part of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. They just happened to put a dish out here. So wherever those other ones are pointed, this is pointed at the same thing. That one was moving. The other nine were moving at the same exact time as that one was. So pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, one more thing over here before we head in. Called Black Mountain. And since that was a taller mountain, they were definitely interested in that. But it was too steep and narrow for roads and structures like this. So this ended up being the perfect mountain for three. I wish you could have uh, seen the inside of this one, uh, this, the history of it.